While I was treating patients at a clinic, Trump was golfing Democratic gubernatorial candidate and Virginia Lieutenant Governor Ralph Northam waves during a campaign event at the 19th of October 2017 in Richmond, Virginia. Alex Wong Getty Images President Donald Trump has been publicly called out on Twitter by the candidate in the Virginia governor race that he said does not show up for work. Mr. Trump tweeted an endorsement of Republican candidate Ed Gillespie who is running against Democrat Ralph Northam in the Commonwealth race. The president wrote that Mr. Gillespie would make a great governor and that opponent Mr. Northam doesn't even show up to meetings work. The current lieutenant governor of Virginia, Mr. Northam was quick to respond via the president's seemingly preferred method of communication. I served eight years in the Army, took care of sick kids, don't talk to me about showing up, the physician and Army veteran politician tweeted back. His response has more than 55,000 retweets compared to Mr. Trump's tweet that has a little over 10,000. Ed Gillespie will be a great governor of Virginia. His opponent doesn't even show up to meetings work, and will be very weak on crime. Donald J. Trump at Real Donald Trump October 26, 2017 I served eight years in the Army, took care of sick kids, and am running to build a more inclusive Virginia. Don't talk to me about showing up. HTTPS tcoj 9 bs 6 mh Ralph Northam at Ralph Northam October 26, 2017 Mr. Northam's subsequent tweet was also a response to Mr. Trump's criticism. A video of the lieutenant governor treating patients at a rural area medical ram clinic accompanied the tweet that read while I was treating patients at the ram clinic, Donald Trump was golfing in Sterling. Mr. Trump owns a golf club in Sterling, Virginia. You tell me who doesn't show up for Virginians, Mr. Northam tweeted. While I was treating patients at the Ram Clinic, Donald Trump was golfing in Sterling. You tell me who doesn't show up for Virginians. Pick.twitter.com both Zavawi, Ralph Northam at Ralph Northam October 26, 2017 Both candidates have also been embroiled in a controversy over several Civil War statues throughout the state. On the 12th of August, several white nationalists, white supremacists, the Ku Klux Klan, and neo-Nazi protesters clashed with counter-protesters in Charlottesville, Virginia resulting in three deaths and at least 35 injured. The conflict was over the statue of Confederate General Robert E. Lee, whose side lost the war against the Union and in which over 600,000 Americans died. Counter-protesters were there to say the city made the right decision to remove the statue as it was a reminder of a national traitor and hundreds of years of brutal slavery and racism. Mr. Gillespie has argued for keeping the statues intact as a reminder of state history. Mr. Northam has argued the opposite and recently sent out mailers to voters connecting his opponent to violence in Charlottesville. The president also waded into the issue by tweeting just before insulting Mr. Northam that Mr. Gillespie might even save our great statues heritage and Gillespie will turn the really bad Virginia economy s around, and fast. Strong on crime, he might even save our great statues heritage, Donald J. Trump at Real Donald Trump October 26, 2017 Mr. Trump came under fire for his comments immediately following the deadly rally that both sides were responsible and that there were some very fine people on the side protesting to keep the statues. Current Governor Terry McAuliffe is not eligible to run again due to term limits, according to the latest Monmouth University poll, the pair are neck and neck in the race with Mr. Gillespie just. One point ahead, however a poll conducted by Hampton University, located in southeastern Virginia, showed Mr. Gillespie up by nearly eight points. Vice President Mike Pence has also hit the campaign trail in support of Mr. Gillespie. The election is set to take place on the 7th of November. Reuse content We use cookies to enhance your visit to our site and to bring you advertisements that might interest you. Read our privacy and cookie policies to find out more. We've noticed that you are using an ad blocker. Advertising helps fund our journalism and keep it truly independent. It helps to build our international editorial team, from war correspondents to investigative reporters, commentators to critics. Click here to view instructions on how to disable your ad blocker, and help us to keep providing you with free-thinking journalism for free. Thank you for your support. How to disable your ad blocker for independent.co.uk ad block ad block plus click the ad blockade block plus icon, which is to the right of your address bar. On ad block click don't run on pages on this domain. On ad block plus click enabled on this site to disable ad blocking for the current website you are on. If you are in Firefox click disable on independent.co.uk. Firefox tracking protection if you are private browsing in Firefox, tracking protection may cause the ad block notice to show. It can be temporarily disabled by clicking the shield icon in the address bar. Ghostry click the ghostry icon. In versions before 6.0 click whitelist site.
In version 6.0 click trust site or add independent.co.uk to your trusted site list. In versions before 6.0 you will see the message site is whitelisted. Click reload the page to see your changes. U block click the U block icon. Then click the big power button to whitelist the current website and its state will be remembered next time you visit the website. Then reload the page. Thank you for supporting independent.co.uk.